Hello, my name is Jonathan Clark. Welcome to another one of my Ableton Q&A videos. For today's video, I am going to teach you how to cut a breakdown out of an existing track to make it a little bit shorter. Now, why would you do this? Um, when I did my um, Making a DJ Mix video a couple years ago, that was for production, studio production of a radio show. And at the time, in that video, I showed you how to cut out breakdowns from a whole bunch of uh, tracks to keep the energy levels up during the mix. I don't do that anymore. I've, I've totally changed my perspective on, on how I do my radio shows now. Because most people that listen to my radio shows um, do that either because they're relaxing, um, maybe they're driving, driving a truck, driving a car, whatever. And I find that the, the breakdown sections are generally the most interesting parts of a lot of tracks. So why would you want to cut those out? Um, if you're looking at live DJing, if I am playing early in the night when I don't have a packed dance floor, again, I'll try and leave those breakdowns in because it's, it's more interesting. It adds to the uh, diversity of the music. Maybe the same thing with a set at the very end of the night. But, having said that, if, I've, if I'm playing as a headlining slot and I've got a packed dance floor, the drawback with a breakdown is that you lose a little bit of the attention of the crowd. So, you know, if they're really tired, they may appreciate having a, a little bit less energy in the song for 16 or 32 seconds or something like that. But, uh, but for the most part, people don't necessarily like the breakdowns as much during the peak part of the night. So I'm going to do another video that shows you how to cut them out with, uh, with software like uh, Audacity, but it's far, far easier to do it in Ableton. So I'm going to presume that you already know how to warp a track in Ableton. If not, you can watch my other videos and I'll show you how to do this very, very quickly. Okay, so we have a new session here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a track. Let's go with, uh, let's go with this one. So I'm going to drag and drop it onto one of my audio channels, and I'm going to click, keep it held down, hit tab, and that's going to flip me into arrangement view, and then I'm going to drag it to the front. I'm going to let go, and you can see it's dragged into channel 1 in arrangement view. And if I move my hand magnifying glass up here, click the leftmost button, keep it held down, move upwards, and that zooms out so you can see the whole track. And what I want to do is it looks like, uh, let's just listen for a second. Okay, so you can obviously see from the waveform anyway that we have a big section right here and another one right here that look like they're a lot more quiet. And if you play them, obviously. So, so let's cut these two pieces out, these parts out. Remember that this song is already properly warped, okay? So it's going to stay in time throughout the whole song. So all I have to do is highlight the same bars that I want to cut out. I can do it either in the bars or what I'm doing is just dragging and letting go or I can even do it underneath doesn't matter because think of this as a vertical column what's going to happen is I'm going to go up to edit I'm going to delete time and this section from 129 to 145 is going to disappear and all the rest of the track is going to shift left because this section got cut out so delete boom okay I'm going to do the same thing here highlight the 16 bars that I want to get rid of, go up to edit, delete time, boom. So let's zoom in a little bit by dragging and pulling down on your timeline and let's listen to the four bars before and see what happens when we go across this cut where I spliced it. Spliced it. Beautiful. Seamless. Okay, let's just double check here also. Beautiful. Always double check. Um, the only drawback with doing these cuts, occasionally if you're cutting in the middle of a vocal section, it's a little bit more obvious that you've made the cut. But normally, as long as the track's warped properly, you're going to get a seamless continuous beat. Okay, so now I've cut this stuff out. How do I save it? Well, the easiest thing is to hit Control A on a PC, uh, that would be Command A on a Mac, and that highlights the entire thing. 
and I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to go to Export Audio, and the master track, basically all these channels are feeding to the master track, so I'm not going to touch anything really in here. I'm going to output it as a WAV file, 4410 sample rate, 16 bits. I'm just going to hit OK because the default is is kind of a perfect setting. And then let's uh, let's put it up on the desktop, and we're going to call this uh, okay. And I'm going to save, and so what Ableton does, it goes through, renders it to disk, exports it, and I just want to check something here. If I zoom in a little bit, this cut is right around 2 minutes and between 2.33 and 2.34 seconds. Um, okay, so we've exported that to the desktop. Let's open another program. I'll just open uh, Audition and I'm going to open from the desktop uh, no breakdowns, there it is okay so you can see it looks like a normal track and let's start playing it right around here zoom in see perfect seamless okay so now what you can do is you can take that finished track that we have here, um, you can do one of two things. If you're, if you're playing in Ableton, um, you can re-import it and warp that. That probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense because if you were playing in Ableton um, in the first place as a DJ, you wouldn't have wanted to bother cutting the breakdowns out because what you can do is you can just skip over a section live. Okay, so to demonstrate, uh, if I was playing here and coming up, I've got quantize set to one bar, and as I get closer to that section, okay, so basically in Ableton when you're playing live, just by using your mouse and jumping your cursor around, you're able to skip the breakdown without having to do any prep, but this approach is really handy if you happen to be playing on CD players. So now you've got a separate version of the song, your own little edit with no breakdowns that you can put on your, burn to a CD or put on your USB key, play it in a CD player, and then you don't have the dance floor losing a bit of interest when that breakdown comes around. Okay, I'll show you how to do this in another video um, using a standard editor like Audition or something, but really Ableton, it's, it's so much easier in Ableton. Okay, thanks for watching.